if you want to know about Doctor Who and we're afraid to ask, go at 195 or fax us at 195 Coming up, those... What do you want to know about Doctor Who? Doris Bullen. We've got our expert panel over there. They are Terence, Gary and Sophie. Doris Bullen from Cheam. What members of That's Life appeared in Doctor Who? What member of That's Life appeared in Doctor Who? There's actually been two. Two, Gabby. Oh. Um, oh. Oh. Go for that it, Gary. That you, didn't it? That yes. fooled Doris. Um, Adrian Mills, who's a current That's Life presenter. That, yes, that's all uh, right. He was in a 1982 story called Kinder, and um, he played a You're mute. You're scary! I am, aren't I? It's frightening, isn't it? <laughs> Years of, of rubbish in my and head. And who's the other one? In 1969, George Layton, who was one of the very first oh, yes. presenters of That's the Life. The man that wrote he on was, The Doctor. Um, that's right. Mm. He, was, he was a space pirate. Well, thank oh, you. There you go. Oh. Oh, well, we'll do, we'll do your one afterwards. Yes. Oh, okay. We'll do your one afterwards okay. because that was a, a longer answer than we expected. <laughs> More Doctor Who questions at 1985 Or fact is at 1985 And if you'd like to catch Gary out, particularly <laughs> with the very hard questions, please give us a call right now. Exterminate! <laughs> 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 Would you just like... Oh. Darling, I, I don't think you've got any match. No match. You've got no match there for Psycho oh. Cam. <laughs> That's right. Run up them steps. Uh, what's oh. that? Psycho? 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 You heard of them when you were little? No, not at all. Did you I don't think I watched it very often. What? Oh. 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 Bye, go, quick, bye. <laughs> yes, because today's question of the here? day. <laughs> Today's question of the day. Ooh. Oh, that's the one. Thank oh, you. We love that tune. What do you want to know Texas about Day. Doctor Who? And we have got Gary Russell, editor of the Doctor Who magazine. We've also got Sophie Aldred, who played Ace for years, Doctor Who's companion. And there's also Terence Dix, who was scriptwriter on the show for six years and has written 70 books about Doctor Ooh, Who. 70 books. Okay, so I'm the first question. Ken Jones mm -hmm. from Bo says, Why has there only been one Lady Time Lord? Is this the case? Was there one Lady Time Lord? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there was one called the Rani, wasn't there, who was, uh, who was a villain. And I think, is she the only one going? Uh, you know, there's Romana as well. There's Romana. The, doc yeah, the doctors have one companion who was a time lady. I mean, mostly he tends to kind of pick them up during the course of his adventures. <laughs> <you know? laughs> Stephen Donigan <laughs> of Lurgan. Hello, hello. Just hello. excuse me, panel. Here's There's panel. a bit of a question <laughs> here. <laughs> they just get carried away, these hooies. Uh, Donigan of Lurgan. He wants to know who was the longest-running female assistant. I don't know. <laughs> I no, don't know anything about Doctor Who. Sarah Jane. Oh, I did know. Sarah uh, Liz Smith Elizabeth Sladen. Yeah. How, how, how long, long did she play it for? Oh, years. How long did you do it, Ace? <laughs> how long were you there, Ace? So? I was there. I wasn't there for very long, actually. Except I've turned out to be the longest-running companion because so. I've been carried on in book form. In the books, in the yeah. the oh. novelisation. Oh. 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 Stump them, please. Let's <gasps> stump them. <laughs> but now it's St. Um, Patrick's Day. So well, our expert panel. We'll be hearing from our Doctor Who expert panel very shortly. Yeah. But yes. before that, let's have a look at the. Is that right? Do you think? Andy. I, I, I think yeah. that's Andy, is that right? Yeah, that's fine, Gabby. Love I you. think he's having a song. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it's true. It's, it's for real. real. I feel incredibly lucky. <laughs> yes. Incredibly okay. lucky. Look, as we saw in the new Doctor Who expert panel. Because today's question of the day. <laughs> What do you want to know about Doctor Who? And our first time Lord Trivia Expert is Gary Russell, editor of the Doctor Who magazine. We've also got Sophie Aldred, who was ace, uh, Doctor Who's companion for three years. And finally, there's Terence Dix, who was scriptwriter on the show for six years and has written 70 Doctor Who books. OK, so Danny Whelan from Wales, what does the TARDIS stand for, Terence? Uh, time and relative dimension in space is the kind of absolutely correct answer, but in <laughs> later years an S crept onto dimensions. So, dimension, so people tend to say time and relative dimensions. But Thank it you was very much. in the early days it was dimension. Thank you. Uh, James Mayer of Nabra, which planet do the Cybermen come from? Uh, originally they come from a planet called Mondas. Mondas. Um, and then they went to another planet called Telos. Ooh. Telos. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> ben Bunter from Islington says, why does the doctor regenerate? Because he feels like it. And you, you might because say that. And you, <laughs> and you can keep, keep the show well. going if the, if the lead actor gets sloppy. You can say, time for another regeneration, <laughs> Doctor. <laughs> Came in very useful. I don't think that years. was a very good answer. I, I, I used to do it on Neighbours, too. They were <laughs> 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 I 
about. Um, Stevie it's Harris from Swansea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stevie Harris from Swansea. Where do the dialects come from? Oh, Scaro, I know oh. that one. Yeah. Yes, yes, wonderful. Scaro. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay. Oh, and did you know that backwards, it, car led, they started out, out as car leds, That's didn't right. they? But then they became, yeah, I but she's still like that. No. <laughs> 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 it's getting a bit chatty now. All right, more ways to stop the Doctor Who panel at 1985 Or faxes at 1985 However, do you want some. <laughs> oh. What do you want to know about Doctor Who? Go on, we got one. Here we are from one. Aaron Meta of Leicester. Here's a quickie. How was K9 operated? By uh, radio control. A remote control dog. Well, it yeah. worked, which he very often didn't a lot of the time. I saw a whole studio gathered round waiting for K9 to wiggle his ears. <laughs> <laughs> Never work with kids and robot dogs. <laughs> Wonderful. More Dr. Who's trivia. 0819511111. Or faxes 819522. But do we know who's going to play Doctor Who in the new film? Oh, there we are. Do you know who's going to play Doctor Who in the new film? No, not yet. Nobody does. No. Yet. Is no. there any, any names that you could drop that have been looked yeah. at? Uh, There's all well, kinds they, of rumors. They, they talked of about sort of Richard O'Brien and Michael, Michael Crawford, Crawford and Alan Rickman and David and people Hasselhoff. Like that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or um, I've got an idea. David. Peter Smith. David. Yes. Peter Smith. Yeah, I can see it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Peter. Okay, you've got another oh, okay. question. While, while you're there, Our panel. Expert panel. Yes. expert panel. Paul Wright from Banbury. Right, here we go. Uh, what period in history was the Invisible Enemy set in? Um, oh, oh, no, 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 no. It's set in the year 5000. Oh, it's, it's not it's history, it's the future. The future? Can we believe him? <laughs> <laughs> we have to, he's the expert. <laughs> More questions, 81985 Of course, faxes. 81985 Do you want... <laughs> The Doctor Who expert pan <laughs> along with the Dalek K9 and Cyberman, because today's question of the day. What do you want to know about Doctor Who? And we've got Gary Russell, editor of Doctor Who magazine. We've got Sophie Aldred, who played Ace with Doctor Who, and also Terence Dix, who was scriptwriter of the show for six years and written 70 books on Doctor Who. Okay, Wendy French, guys, say, from Southampton, says, the first Doctor Who had a granddaughter, so was he once married? Uh, Nobody knows for sure. Um, there's a theory that there's a Mrs. Who somewhere stashed away, or that it was just a kind of uh, courtesy title, you know, like a little girl called an old man. But then again, what's he doing taking little girls around in his TARDIS? Absolutely. You know, so Probably was his granddaughter then. Best, best left obscure, I <laughs> Okay, well, one more. Uh, one more. It's a quickie. Um, what was Doctor Who's first name? Paul Thomas of Wandsworth wants to know. His, his, his real name? His, well, um, his first name. No one knows. His first, uh, we yes. don't know. He's just he uses, the Doctor. He Brian uses who? the alias John Smith when he's really stuck to give a name. He comes up with that. <laughs> Dr. John Smith who, if you <laughs> want to know, if you want to put to the panel some Dr. Who quizzies, <laughs> this is the phone number. 081... <laughs> oh, wait, no. Double one one. Double one. Double one. Well, it's <laughs> St. Paddy's Day. Uh, panel, we've got a couple Boys of quick questions panel. for them. Okay. We have. Is one from Robert Hunter of Bedfordshire. How old is Dr. Who? Uh, 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's um, he's over 900, but we don't know more than that. Ooh, Thank you very lies much. Lies about his age a lot. Oh, of course <laughs> he okay, does. and Grant Dr. Warner Dr. from Nathan B says, "How do you join the Doctor Who Appreciation Society?" That's Hooray! Cool. A question I can answer. Oh, oh <laughs> Sophie, go on. <laughs> Buy this magazine out today. This is the new issue of the Doctor Who magazine. And uh, if you buy this magazine, then you can find all the details about how to join the DWAS, as it's fondly known. DWAS? Yes, DWAS. The Doctor, Doctor Who Appreciation, Appreciation Society. Society. DWAS. Thank you. Yeah, learn something new every day. Thank you very much. Now, 8.44. The question about the clip is, what we will see you tomorrow. OK, oh. we've had our Doctor Who expert panel here. Michael Hall, Mick Stockton and John Douglas. These are their questions in, the, in that order. Which ex-member of EastEnders appeared in the resurrection of the Dalek? Sophie? Leslie Grantham. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. And which Doctor Who made a record and what was it called? Mixed Doctor? Uh, John Pertwee, and it was called Who is the Doctor? <laughs> Correct. Wow. Well, John Douglas from Leicester. So much. Which Doctor broke his collarbone whilst filming, and what episode was it in? It was Tom Baker in The Sontaran Experiment. The three of you have been fantastic. Thank you very much for Well joining done, us. and here to help us celebrate St. Paddy's Day, we've got this Irish band, McGilla Cuddies. Let's, oh, yes. let's go! Yes! Coming up on this show tomorrow. How to get tickets for Take That new concerts before anybody else? They've announced some new dates, and we'll tell you how to get tickets for anyone else. Theo 
from the Cosby Show will be on the bed with Paula, and boxer Herbie Hyde's in knockout in snap. Plus, we have an aerodynamic display and a preview of Sooty and Sweep's new show. And St. Patrick's Day, we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you very much. Tonight.